Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this olive eye look for you all. So yeah, if you want to see how I achieve this look, then just keep watching. First of all, I'm taking my MAC Strobe Cream. Sorry, I forgot the name there. And I'm just applying that all over my face. Now I'm moving it in with my Kat Von D Tattoo Locket Foundation with a stippling brush and just applying that all over my face. Now I'm going to be taking my MAC Full Coverage foundation in the shade white and applying that under my eyes and then also using my cover effects cream concealer which I didn't show here unfortunately and that's just going to make a lighter concealer for under my eyes and now I've just zoomed in so now we're all up close and personal now now I'm just going to take my Revlon photo ready powder and a stippling brush and I'm just going to lightly dust some powder all over my face And now using another powder, this is the MAC Emphasize Pro Powder and I'm just going to dust that under my eyes where I use that lighter concealer. Now going in with my brand new Intense Shadow Blast by CoverGirl in the shade Extreme Green, I'm just going to apply this to my eyes. It's like a liquid eyeshadow and I really really enjoy it. I had to do two coats though to get an opaque green colour. Now I'm using this Smashbox palette and taking this mid-toned brown and I'm just applying that to my crease. Now taking this olive color and also mixing it with this light champagne color, I'm just gonna pack that onto my lid, just up to my crease. And now I'm just gonna blend all that out with a clean blending brush. Now I'm going to be taking that mid-tone brown again and I'm just going to put that back in my crease just to increase its intensity because when I did blend it out it did lose its colour a little bit. And now taking this dark brown I'm putting this in my outer corner and outer V. And now going back in with this mid-tone brown I am going to use that on a pencil brush on my lower lash line just from my inner corner to my outer corner. Now going in with that olive colour again, starting from the middle of my eye, I'm going to be working to my outer corner and now taking that darker brown, I'm just going to put that on the last portion of my eye. Okay, eyebrow time. I'm using my Illamasqua Brow Cakes in the shade Motto and Thunder on an angled eyeliner brush. Motto being the grey tone and Thunder being the brown one. And I'm just going to apply that to my brows. Now I'm just going to be taking the lightest shade from this palette and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone and now I'm going to be taking my red cherry number 43 lashes and apply some glue to them and let them sit. Taking my L'Oreal Lash Architect 4D Volume Mascara, I'm just going to apply that to my upper and lower lashes. And while I wait for my glue to dry on my eyelashes, I'm just going to apply my contour, which is going to be Benefit's Hula Bronzer. Now I'm just going to very quickly apply my Red Cherry 43 lashes that I prepared earlier. Sorry that I'm a little bit out of focus in this shot. Okay, so now taking my Hoola bronzer again on this larger contour brush, I'm just going to bronze my face, tapping off the excess product onto the back of my hand so I don't get an overwhelming amount of product on my face. And now I'm just taking some highlighter and I'm just applying this to my face. I do believe this is Too Faced Candlelight Highlighter. Now taking MAC Flesh Pot, I'm just going to apply that to my lips. I do wish I chose a more pinky lip shade, but this one did look okay. I just wish I'd picked a more pinky shade. Okay, now for lip gloss. This is the Inglot Lip Gloss in the shade number 43. It's really, really, really beautiful. I really like it. I'm just applying that to the center of my lips. And this did encourage the next product, which is NARS Albatross. I thought that I would just add another product to my face. Why not? And I'm just applying that with the same fan brush I applied the Too Faced one. Of course, you don't need to apply two highlighters. I just wanted to because the lip gloss inspired me to use it. But yeah. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. What do you think? I really, really like it personally. But yeah, so please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.